Well, this has been a big week. The uh, president of uh, China comes into the United States. Interestingly, San Francisco, which has been a filthy place, uh, cleans the joint up to make it nicer for the Chinese president. You wonder, why don't they make it nice for the people of California? They haven't cared. There's all kinds of human feces on the streets, trash, litter. It's just disgusting. Needles and drug paraphernalia everywhere. They came in and cleaned it up. So it'll look pretty for the Chinese. Don't you think we maybe ought to make it look pretty for the American citizens who live there? Anyway, boy, did they ever get a nice welcome. So this is just a little view of the uh, Chinese uh, delegation arriving. You can see all the people waving the uh, communist Chinese flag, which is just bizarre to me that the streets of San Francisco are lined up with people waving a Chinese flag. What the heck is that about? You know, I don't get it. Same people probably would not be waving an American flag. That's even sadder. These are some of the folks that would take a knee during the national anthem. But a uh, communist dictator shows up and they wave his flag. Go figure. Israeli Defense Forces killed a terrorist. And what's interesting about this particular elimination of a terrorist was, you remember that young lady that you see on your screen? Now there's a blurred image of her lifeless body in the back of a pickup truck. Uh, basically having been stripped naked and driven through the streets of Gaza where these peaceful Palestinians, as we're told they are, spit on her and made light of the fact that she was brutally and viciously murdered. This is just a horrific kind of, uh, of reason that I don't have any sympathy for Hamas. And I really wish that more people would understand Israel doesn't have a choice but to eliminate these evil, evil people. Uh, and I'm sad, I'm genuinely sad that innocent people are gonna be killed. But I also wanna remind you that the Palestinians overwhelmingly elected Hamas to lead their government. So even though I say they're innocent, and they are, they're innocent of any crimes, they're not innocent of having empowered Hamas because they voted these people in. Mm -hmm. Maybe they did it out of fear, but they did it. And now they're reaping the consequences of having put these people in office. This week has been interesting also because TikTok has uh, uh, published a letter from Osama bin Laden in which it's called a letter to America and he basically says we were justified in 9-11 in murdering 3,000 people by crashing airplanes into the World Trade Center and into the Pentagon. And uh, of course, the one that they tried to fly into Washington, it was interrupted by the passengers on board who overtook the terrorists and it crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It's a horrible day. We all remember 9-11. If you were alive, if you were more than four or five years old, I can't imagine that you, don't not, that you do not remember that horrible day and how we felt so gut-punched and how we were hoping that the U.S. would find and get rid of Osama bin Laden, which we did. Now you've got younger people who are praising Osama bin Laden's letter, which said that, the attacks on America were justified. I just find this are, are absolutely insane. I want you to watch this clip. Um, we really need to stop paying taxes because they ain't doing nothing but messing up everybody else and, and America is the bully. And it's sad because they have brainwashed us to think that we was the best country in the plan, on the planet. It is just insane because this letter is so well written and so reasonably structured um, in an argument. Because the only acceptable violence is violence by the occupier. So please keep that in mind when reading the letter. If this is our future, we're toast. If what we just saw represents the mindset of the people who are going to take over this country and run it, and they're the future of America, kiss her goodbye, because these people are idiots. They have no sense of history, none whatsoever, no perspective of what happened on 9-11. And I wish they would go talk to the family members of some of the people who were burned alive while sitting at their desk in their office buildings at the World Trade Center. And then you tell me that was justified. Mm. I, I'm sorry, but that's sick. These are sick, sick people who somewhere did not get an education about who they are. And if they hate America this much, then get the heck out of here. Let's buy them a plane ticket. My tax money, I will gladly use any of it to get them a one-way ticket. You want to go to Gaza? 
Saudi Arabia, uh, Qatar, fine, we'll send you where you want to go, but you ain't coming back. One-way ticket. Get the heck out of here. You hate us this much, you don't belong with the rest of us. And we don't need your taxes because we don't need your totally insane attitude. Hey, Mike Huckabee here. Listen, if you love your mom, apple pie, and being conservative, you know you ought to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and click the like button and show all the leftists out there that conservatives are thriving and patriotism is far from dead. Am I pandering too much? No way. I'm just getting started.